Welcome to Dr. Coco's Kitchen Holiday Series. I'm very excited today because we're doing something a little different. I am going to show you how to make a super easy wine box. This wine box could be a gift for a loved one, a relative, a friend. In my case, I am gifting a wine box to a very essential person in my life, <laughs> my esthetician and wax lady. Ladies, I'm sure you understand, this woman holds a lot of power in her hands, so I have to make sure that she is shown that she is appreciated, especially during the holiday times. You know how it is when you're trying to squeeze a last minute appointment in. She always looks uh, out for me and takes care of me, so I am going to gift her a wine box this year for Christmas. And I'm just gonna show you how to make this super easy wine box. Everything that I'm putting in this box has been curated specifically for her and her likings that she can use personally or at her establishment. So first, we start off with the gift box. You can get this from your local craft store. Um, uh, us crafters know that the local craft stores are pretty much Hobby Lobby and Michaels. This is no more than probably about five to $10. If you can catch a sale, I definitely recommend you catch a sale where you can get the 50 and 60% off. So we have this cute wine box. Next, we are going to fill it with our shred. I chose the gold shred because it's festive for the holidays, adding two bags of shred, okay? Next, um, I'm going to add our wine bottle because it's the largest um, item in our box. This is three by Wade from D. Wade Cellars. And this is the rosé. I know that my esthetician loves rosé. This is something that we sip at her um, spa. Um, and also she likes it personally. It's a really light wine. So if you're not sure um, what particular type of wine the person drinks, this is a light wine for summer, fall, sultry nights, winter. It has notes of strawberry and red fruit in it. So it's a very um, drinkable wine that you can enjoy with a variation of different dishes or you can enjoy solo. So that's why I selected this wine. So we're going to put our bottle of wine in the middle. Next, I have this journal. Get into this. This is a recalibration and intentionality journal that you can use. Um, this was created by my sister, one of my best friends, Tony Williams White. She has these on sale on Amazon. It is full of um, affirmations. It has different parts of the um, journal where you can chart your week out and set your intentions for the week. It has quotes by um, Beyonce, um, everybody that just aspirational quotes from Serena Williams, Oprah, Beyonce. I use this intentionality journal and um, I share it with others. I purchased a few from my friends and loved ones and my sisters. So I'm going to put this in here because you have to set your intentions and that's the theme for next year, intentionality. So we're putting our journal in there. Next, we have a candle. Um, I know that I love candles from um, every end of the spectrum. This is my favorite from Forever Mood Cuffing Season is the scent. You could choose whatever scent you want. You can do a one wick or a two, a two or three wick candle. A three wick wouldn't necessarily fit into this gift box, so I chose a one wick candle, but it's still large enough to permeate um, a space that's standard size because if you get a, a one wick candle that's too small, it might not permeate the space. So I chose Cuffing Season by Forever Mood. It smells so good and it's always cuffing season, right? So we have our wine, our intentionality journal, our candle. Next, we're going to add just some snacks in the event that she's working late and she doesn't have any food, doesn't have time to order something, um, to have it delivered and she can't leave. She just has some snacks. These are my favorite from this line. They are pomegranate vanilla flavored cashews. So yummy and they fit the holiday season. And last but not least, we're just gonna sprinkle a couple of different types of candy. We have some white truff chocolate truffles. We have dark, dark chocolate peppermint bark in here. So these are just little snacks, little, <laughs> little pieces of sugar to give her a sugar rest if she has a long day and that she can share with her clients. And then of course you can't have a holiday themed wine box without peppermints, right? So we're just throwing some peppermints in there. 
And now we have a super easy wine box that is probably valued at a little bit under a hundred dollars. Um, you can go, um, lower end, mid range or high end. It just depends on what your budget is and who you're gifting. Um, I, like I said, carefully curated everything in this box for her. Rule number one is know your personnel. So you have to know who you're dealing with. So if you're, you have someone who's not, um, a wine drinker, they drink, you know, for entertainment and enjoyment. They're not a person who's an enthusiast or you have a person who's like, hey, I have a couple of certifications. You can improve the wine, you can get a more complex wine, but if you have someone who just likes to drink for the entertainment person uh, purposes and to enjoy the wine, you definitely want to scaffold the wine level based on who you're purchasing wine for. You don't want to get this complex, rich, deep red wine that doesn't have any notes of sweetness and the person that you are purchasing wine for enjoys sweet wines or vice versa person that you're buying wines for does not enjoy sweet wines so this is our gift box this is the top it's super cute when i go for my next appointment i just carry the box in and you have a very easy gift to give to whomever you like holiday wine box Thank you for tuning in to today's edition of Dr. Coco's Kitchen Holiday Series, creating an easy wine box to give to your loved ones for the holidays. I'll see you next time.